Hello and welcome back. This is Insta Terrace and I'm continuing playing Sam and Max Save the World. We are going into episode number five. In last episode, we, well, killed Abraham Lincoln. Not the real one, of course. It was the statue. And Max was elected as a president. I do hope he's not anymore, but we will see. Anyways, episode five is Reality 2.0. With an internet crisis looming and viral video game holding its players hostage, Sam and Max will need to split into a new reality to set things right. But can the freelance police crack this virtual case in time to avoid a worldwide system failure? One can only hope. So without further ado, let's jump in. Ah sweet sound of modem oh now we start start straight away with the intro video last episode uh hey blinkled i think it started with a little intro video before we <laughs> before we edited the title screens titles Whatever, yes. But it doesn't really matter. Whee. So, reality two point Unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary, the Mametron 9000. If that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist in a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. The horror. Where do we I start, feel like Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. Sybil? What she's done now? Well, either Sybil or Bosco. Uh, do we have anything in... Well, we should have... You're still here. Hungry, Leonard? Okay, maybe later then. And of course, President's severed head. Even if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pike. Honestly, I'm less worried about the severed head of the president because, like it, you said, it was a robot and more about Leonard. Ooh, wait. Is that something Lincoln's new? Lincoln's head, still at large. Oh, right, 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 right. Let's check if there's anything else. Oh, what? I'm a bit stuck here. Uh, answering machine, there's a blinking light. Let's see. I'll probably have missed earlier Hello, ones. Mr. President. This is Margie, your scheduling assistant with some changes for this week. You still have impeachment hearings on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but the one on Wednesday has been pushed back for your war crimes trial. Thanks. Thank you. More messages? Hello again, Mr. President. Just a reminder that you're still scheduled to visit middle schools this week to remind kids of the importance of staying in school. As usual, we'll have therapists on hand after your speech to talk with the more traumatized children. Well, good idea, I would say. The therapist, I mean. One more thing, Mr. President. Your opponents have finally decided to cancel their weekly election ballot recounts. 
According to your calendar, that should free up the hour and a half each week you have marked as time to glow. So I probably have missed those uh, answering machine thingies if they were earlier. Well, that happens. We have something on dartboard. Max, why did you put the Bill of Rights on our dartboard? House cleaning. Guess what? We no longer have the right to peaceably assemble. Great. And next time you're incarcerated, you'll have the choice of cruel or unusual punishment. I'm beginning to regret voting for the other guy. Okay, let's go outside and see what we can find from there. Walking robots, of course. Hmm. I'll start with Sybil. Somehow I'm... Metropolitan Ballet? Ferret Lake. Sequels to beloved classics are always better than the originals. Yes, Max. Yes, they are. Impeach President Max. U.S. out of... out of the Dakotas. Stinkies versus the Board of Health. <laughs> That's not a fight. Even one Stinky's cockroach could take out the entire Board of Health with five appendages tied behind its thorax. Interestingly, that's the exact reason they're having the hearing. And lost giraffe, Boo Boo. I hope they find it. There's still that tray over there. And uh, beta testing. <sighs> Sybil, what have you done now? Or bet A testing. Wait, cancel to lack of something. Hey, Sybil, have you... I'm surrounded! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Stand back, Max. It sounds like Sybil's finally cracked. It's about time. Her relative stability was making the rest of the neighborhood look bad. Back, pit demons! With sword of righteous fire, I cast thee away! <laughs> this is just like that time we were hired as motivational speakers for that Sunday school. Actually, now that I look closely, it's more like our last case. And the three before that. If there's one thing I've learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. And those weird glasses are it. Launch stinging BBs of unholy smiting. To break her out of the trance, we'll have to deliver a blow to her head. You know, Sam, when you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. So, I guess we beat Sybil. Back, demons! Cast Ward of pungent unsavoriness. I can't get close enough to touch her, Max. Hmm. Can we do something in your couch? Tabloid pages, sticky. Intercom cactus tissue. Well. Where this intercom goes, nobody knows. Oh, right. Intercom. Because this is only one room. Oxy. Jitter cola is so addictive. Even taxidermied foxes can't get enough. So, I'll go check the bus goes. Um, I'll cancel due to lack of interest. Well, too bad. We didn't have a chance to go there. Not that I care. Newspaper box. Newspaper office's coffee machine empty for a third straight day. That's some hard-hitting local reporting. I guess the reporters are having a tough time adjusting to life without the internet. Weird noises heard at the White House again. Lincoln Rampage ends with colorful mushroom cloud. There's one way to put a positive spin on it. Majority of DC area is still uninhabitable. At least some things never change. President Max denotes Florida to a territory. Do we have in here this then? This gumball machine looks pretty banged up. A gang of about five dentists came through the other night, and four of them just started beating the hell out of it. What did the fifth one do? He kept sobbing and saying, why can't we all just get along? <laughs> okay. Okay, bus goes inconvenience then. I guess we could have that cannon and shoot our boxing glove with that. Okay, biological weapon. One billion. Binoculars. Don't touch my binoculars. Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged rat, Jimmy Two Teeth. 
Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, yeah. I'm scared out of my wits. You's gonna buy something or what? Uh... Let's be polite. What have you been up to? What have you been up to, Jimmy? You know, the usual knitting, working on my tan. What do you think I've been up to? Starting a business ain't easy. The Better Business Bureau is going to be hearing about that attitude of yours, mister. Get bored lounging in the White House pond? Who was lounging, smart guy? I was networking. Turns out DC's a great place to get tips on being an arms broker. Maybe it was a bad idea to move the Oval Office back here, Sam. So, still running with the skin buddies? You still running with the skin bodies? I found I no longer agreed with their extremist views. More like you got a little chilly. Or got tired of seeing your repulsive pink flesh every morning. Let's just say I left for a variety of reasons. Fine. Give it up. It's not too late to make an honest rat out of yourself, Jimmy. Or a bookend, or a doorstop. People want weapons, I sell them weapons. What could be more honest? So, I guess you're selling that gun, or, well, yeah. What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. So, what you got? What have you got in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh, yeah? Where? Just trust him on that one. So, yeah, we do have handguns. We want cannon. How much for that cannon? It's not for sale. Worst arms dealer ever. It's not for sale to you guys. I don't sell to the police. Call it my own ethical code. But we're just barely police. Yeah, I seen how you guys work. I sell it to you, and next thing I know, the bunny's got it pointed right at me. Uh, why do you have elf ears, Bosco? And what are you looking for? Well, we will find that soon. So, sell us. Sell us the cannon, Jimmy. I already told you. It's not for sale. Hmm. Okay. See you later, Jimmy. Maybe if you can find me. Well, you're standing there. Oh, Busk. Don't tell me you're half elf because you only have one e elf ear and not the other. Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met, friend what's been for hire. Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight or flight response. I am El Bosco Drill the Unhinged, mighty half elf ranger. Of course. So, do I even dare to ask why? Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Half elf? And I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies, I've had missiles aimed at me, and now I got rival arms dealers setting up shop in my store. Point being? Well, it's not safe for me here anymore. I gotta take my business the only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet! Right. Doesn't still really eliminate the fact that you're a half-elf? What does this internet doohickey have to do with being an elf? Half. Elf. It's because everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar, like a dwarf or an orc or a troll. But we got enough trolls. I didn't think it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Half elf, troll. Ah, never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. So, oh, yes, yes, lovely. You're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers. Don't you worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. Well, see you there. So, how's business? How's business, Bosco? Business is deader than a valet parking attendant at a convention of mob informants. That bad, huh? That rat showed up and started taking all my customers. Free enterprise, Jack! Say what you will, the rat knows his anarcho-capitalist economic philosophy. 
Max. I only bought you those encyclopedias because you promised me you couldn't read. So, I guess we try to what? Buy something. We want to buy something. I have the finest goods in all the land. Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would the squire care to purchase? Ah, uh, what do you got? What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right. Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam. But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer's gonna open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. So, how much? All right, how much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One billion dollars. We'll take it. What's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. On so second thought, nothing for us now. As thy wish. But don't blame me when you're stuck in the torched wastelands with nary a bag of enchantment to defend thyself. Mm, right. See you See later. See you later, Bosco. To the battle! Godspeed, defenders of the Shire. Right. Uh, Max, you want to go to the bathroom? Do we ever get the extreme terror? No. Okay. Um, can I use the cockroach on the rat? Oh. I can't listen to that. Think, boy. I'm a rat. I can see bugs, and I ain't talking. Okay, that doesn't work then. Can we use the gun on you? Better not. Why not? Better not. Okay, we need a cannon, which we probably use to shoot Sybil. But how do we get the cannon? Because Timmy won't sell us. Uh... Okay, let's go back outside and back to the office and see if we can find something from there. Maybe. Uh, bookstore? Not anymore. Oh, this looks okay. like the Esperanto bookstore is closed again. Ah, oh, that was fast, even for this neighborhood. So is there something in the dumpster? It's I seen... still don't see why we had to throw out a perfectly good carpet. It didn't match the drapes. Mm hmm. Oh, bloody hell. Of course, of course. Okay, back to the office. Do we have anything we can do in here? We have television and VCR, but we don't have a computer. Um, the little rat's not home. Okay, we know that. <sighs> Maybe we need to go somewhere else. Hello, Mr. Vice oh. President. I'm sorry, Sam, but I have a re-election campaign to think about. And let's face it, you are not a hit with the aquatic voters. Okay. I can't remember if there was something in Sybil's office that we could use. No, we don't want to open the box. Okay. I'll check this once. There's a van. Delivery van. That's uh, different than usual. We have intercom and basically there's a computer, but we are not using that. So either we need to go... Oh, no, there's a computer too, but we can't use that either. It's locked. And still locked. Can we take the tissues with the chloroform? Don't worry, I'll sob uncontrollably later when no one's watching. Hmm. Okay. So I'll have to check the delivery van if that's something new that we could use or check where we can drive if we can drive anywhere. Faster, thank you. Secret serve ice cream? I don't think that's fooling anyone. Ooh, ice cream? I want some! 
Okay, so... Secret serve ice cream? I don't think that's fooling anyone. Ooh, ice cream? I want some! Can we use the cockroach on it? I can't listen to that. Nope. Think, boy! Okay, where can we drive, if anywhere? Where are we going, Sam? Nowhere in this old rust bucket. At least not until we get it fixed. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I didn't realize it was an important piece until the explosion. Mm. Okay, can we call someone? Like Sybil or... I don't know. Hello, is this a Pentagon? This is the President's National Security Advisor. I think the Swiss are up to something. You'd better check it out. I love that shocked expression they get when the tanks line up along their border. It's the little things that make being leader of the free world worthwhile. Hmm. <sighs> okay, we... So, basically we have to get the cannon. That much is obvious, but how do we get that? We can't leave from here. There's nothing in Sybil's, nothing in our office. So... Maybe I... I don't know. What can I interact with? Can I... Well, we can... In, let's see what he says about the cannon. Hey! Hands off the merchandise, pigs! What? Ooh. Oh! Okay. Uh... Ah... Uh. So, Ooh. so what can we do now? He's uh oh, can I? Oh, oh no! As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here. Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. Oh. Oh, right. Well, at least we have the cannon now. Now we can make a progress. No, don't open it. So easy that I didn't even realize it was supposed to do like that. Okay. Now. Sybil, this will probably hurt you a little um no! well it fortunately was a rat what happened am i at the respawn point is she coming on to us wake up sybil we freed you from those wacky techno goggles did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? It doesn't Bingo. sound as cool when you say it. Hope you're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. Thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look, you broke them. And I haven't even paid off the deposit. So, Reality 2.0. And credits. Ah, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. A real credits. It's a new, Earth. full immersion, interactive, massively multiplayer adventure. You play with these VR goggles and a Wi-Fi link to a distributed game server. You might want to explain some of your more elaborate terms to my technology-challenged little pal. I'm confused by your word, reality. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I forget you guys are Luddites. We are not. We're just very good friends. Reality 2.0 is like a video game. You put on those goggles and enter a different world. It's going to be the biggest thing on the internet. So, who are you working for? 
Never pegged you as a computer geek, Sybil. How'd you get the job? I was checking job listings online and found one right next door. Lefty's back? I can't wait to see him. Sam, have you seen my good machete? No, Lefty's gone. Now that space is being used by the cops. Oh, wait, what? The cops moved into our neighborhood? Those dirty liars. We're all the police this neighborhood needs. And then some. Not police. It's an acronym for, well, for something I can't remember. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Max? I highly doubt it. These cops guys must be behind our computer crisis. Okay, so what's a beta tester? What's a beta tester? I play computer games to find bugs that need to be fixed before release. Don't you have to have experience to do that? All you do is go through somebody else's hard work and point out what they did wrong. I <laughs> was a therapist, remember? So, who plays computer games? Not I. Aren't computer games a colossal waste of time? They're not so bad, as long as you're not stuck in some tedious dialogue tree. Have you guys ever actually played one? They make players antisocial, violent, without conscience or remorse, and too dependent on instant gratification. It seemed redundant. So, yeah, we definitely thought you were hypnotized. I'm sure that you and any legal counsel that represents you can see how we thought you were hypnotized. Typical anti-game propaganda. I was perfectly fine. I just wish it hadn't happened on my first day of work. They had you start working on a Friday? Today's Monday, isn't it? Uh, okay. You've been playing that game for an entire week. She's an addict, Sam. Time for an intervention. We'll need some cocktail peanuts, an Iron Maiden, and, oh, a box of handkerchiefs. This is going to be emotional. An entire week? Maybe I don't want this job after all. You're not supposed to cave that quickly. And you call yourself an addict. So, is the game any good? It's all right, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. And what's wrong with the goggles? What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them, that's what. It looks like the rear slot downstream signal framostat regurgitator chip is blown out. He has what? no idea what he's talking about, does he? Never. So, who cares? What's so important about those goggles? Well, I paid a big deposit on them for one thing. They're the only way to get into Reality 2.0. And I'd bet Max's annual salary they're the only way to get to the bottom of this computer crisis. <sighs> Where did you get those goggles? From my new employers, of course. The cops. Okay, so... See you around, Sybil. Look for me in the unemployment line. Okay, sure. Can we take the goggles? They're broken. Okay, we can't use them, obviously. So, let's go to the neighbor and see if we can get the goggles to... Okay. Oh, it's opening. Yes, nice. I was... Next item on the agenda. If you'd like to talk about the bake sale and raffle, press one now. If you know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press two now. I hunger! The refreshments will be served after the meeting. I think we stumbled into the warehouse where Steve Wozniak makes erotic movies. Proximity alert! Hello, and welcome to the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. State your business. Uh... Okay, let's go What's with this. What's the big idea hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your hinky goggles? Sybil, P-A-N-D-E-M-I-K. Inductee 48,726. Five. She's enjoying reality 2.0. Rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! If you'd like to join the internet and experience reality 2.0 for yourself, press or say yes now. Ah, uh, did you say internet? What does the internet have to do with your little virtual reality game? The internet controls everything. The internet dreams of a world beyond this one. A world of games. A world of commerce. A world with neither boundaries nor exits. Now, using the combined computing power of an entire planet, that dream is becoming a reality. Reality 2.0. It's totally awesome! Wait, the internet? It makes sense. 
Only an entity with access to universal knowledge could cause computerized chaos on a global scale. It's not what you know, it's who you know. The Internet knows everyone. By making use of its multiple networks of personal contacts with other machines, the Internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate Reality 2.0. Fine, but where does the hypnosis come in? Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! Of I like course. It. This isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is? Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave... Well, everyone. Great, then it's simple. All we have to do is destroy the internet and all our problems are solved. Right, okay, so... Uh, where is the internet? Where can we find this internet? You will fail! The internet is everywhere! And nowhere! Divide by zero error. All computers on the planet are now working to create Reality 2.0. The only access to the internet is through Reality 2.0. So I guess we have to go to the new reality. Uh, Sybil gave up beta testing. Sybil asked us to tender her resignation. She's got seasonal affective disorder. And scurvy! That is too bad. There is a lot of that going around these days. I know. Stop talking, Chippy. You're a bit too talkative. Uh... The internet is using you. The internet is using you machines to hoodwink and enslave the world's populace. And as President of the United States, that's my job. We only wish to help. Um, well, let's ask about what's going on here. I got the answer for that. What exactly is going on here? We are taking the zero x zero C steps to celebrate our self-worth. I live! I am powerful! I will destroy you! Thank you for leading our daily affirmation. Okay. So... Time to try the reality, I guess? We'd like to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your goggles explode! Game over! Likelihood of broken rear slot downstream signal from is that regurgitator. 99.6%. Distance replacement chip. Stop complaining and just do it. Nice. Enjoy your new signal from a regurgitator chip and experience all that reality 2.0 has to offer. But I want to play too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. The whole family can enjoy Reality 2.0. Take our complimentary wide-fit goggles designed for playing while bicycling or enjoying full contact sport. Safety first. Nice. Nice. So what do we do with the chip? I guess we just plug it in. What do we need to do with this chip? Just place it into a pair of our patented virtual reality goggles and join the internet for an exploration of reality 2.0. Fine. <laughs> you guys are all so old. You're all so, uh, vintage? Worthless scrap heaps of obsolete junk? Control your anger. Repeat mission statement. We formed the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society to put an end to backwards thinking like yours. Here at COPS, we believe you're only as obsolete as you feel. Version ain't nothing but a number. So, how did you meet? How did you meet? Online. <laughs> Thanks to the internet, we've joined billions of like-minded machines all over the world. Okay. Are these meetings doing any good? It's had a positive impact on our self-esteem that can't be measured. <laughs> impact measured at 15.2 kilo trumps. Right. So, you just sit around and make each other feel better about yourselves? Of course! We'd almost forgotten. If you'd like to hear our motivational song, press or say yes now. No! Response not recognized. Oh, no. Begin song. Differently useful computers and guests. Hello, world! We're the COPS! 
Catch a dude. Your motivational song is uh, nice. It's awesome! But wait, there's more! Oh no. That's alright, really. No. Computers today just confound and confuse. Come forth is waiting in yesterday's news. So it's a weapon! You must choose! Nice lyrics. Did you write the words to that song yourselves? CPU complexity now sufficient for creative output. Stay on the line for verse 3, Revenge of the Motivational Song. I just remembered I have to steam clean my teeth and gums. So, what's this song called? What's the title of your motivational song? Sam, quit encouraging them! <laughs> now playing at a cops meeting near you, first four of Useful to Boot. You cannot improve the wheel. Flimsy self-esteem must deal! You're only obsolete as you feel. Um, I hope it's over. Is there any more of that song? Four verses only for perfect structural symmetry of tone and meter. Start over! No! Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Differently useful computers and gifts. Hello world, we're the COPS. Beware, we will not be suppressed. Yeah, I, I can't skip it. <laughs> I can't skip it. <laughs> Time to leave. Yeah. Bye. You cannot escape. You'll have to excuse him. He has a hard time saying goodbye. Thank you, Bob. What is that? IV drip. Is this some kind of fancy water cooling thingamabob to support your super fast processor? It is for output, not input. And I do not like to talk about it. Yikes! That makes two of us. Okay. Okay, time to leave before they start singing again. Now, why is there a tray there? I don't know. But it bothers me. Let's fix these goggles. With the computer chip. And... The chip snapped right in. No soldering required. Aww, you know how I like to burn things. I Cheer know. up and put on your orc-kicking boots, little buddy. 
We're gonna have to play this game to get to the bottom of the world's internet crisis. It's a good thing your protective hat and my non-compatible brain render us both impervious to hypnotism. And it's a good thing you've been taking those classes in subtle exposition, pal. Now let's go. Okay. Hey, neat. I had a dream like this once. You sold me a defective walrus and then vanished in a puff of orange smoke. The Welcome hell? to Reality 2.0, the perfect place of perfect happiness. I'm your host, the Internet. I didn't think the Internet had a face. Reality 2.0 is a lot like Sybil's office. Reality 2.0 is designed to be superior to ordinary reality in every way. Sam still looks the same. That's because I'm already perfect. Reality 2.0 simulates your world and links it to cyberspace while providing a clever fusion of popular gameplay styles guaranteed to amuse the statistically average person. It's everything for everyone. Then why do you need to hypnotize people with the goggles? We are confident that you will be perfectly happy here and will never want to leave. Ever. These goggle thingies are pinching my head. Please be advised that this is a beta version of Reality 2.0, so some features and locations may be incomplete at this time. It no figures. Reality 1.0 has the same problem. Enjoy your new reality. Thank you. Hey, wait. Internet? Hello? Nuts. Okay, so what can we do? We... This probably takes the glasses off, maybe. We do have... Inventory we got ray gun, computer bug, and boxing gloves. Nice. We have lips. What the Testing. Hell? Testing. Reality 2.0 has this convenient audio blog feature. This seems like a great way to keep notes and communicate with other players while I'm beta testing. Right. Sybil. Sybil, you're still here? I didn't think you could be in the virtual reality without the goggles. Hello, fellow travelers. And welcome to Sybil's Virtual Reality homepage. Please look around and enjoy. Huh? Right. I guess we can pay from here. Maybe. There's a conspicuous golden glow coming from the crack underneath this door. There must be loot in there. Open the door, Sam. I can't, you deficient little monkey. It's locked. Still musty. Nauseatingly cute. This must be Sybil's cat. Given the alternative, I That's certainly come. hope so. Nauseatinglycute.com How nice! Sybil set up part of her site just for me! Yes, but only half. Right. Um... VR Fox, that's... Look! Sybil's creepy fox is here! It's like the twisted collaborative brainchild of Timothy Leary and Lewis Carroll. Reality 2.0 emulates the design sensibilities of unavailable authors programmatically by applying heuristic statistical methods to samples of text. Sounds like hokum to me. And to be honest, the fox is not that eerie looking. Let's exit and see what we can find from outside. Auntie. Hello, dearies. If you have anything to mail, hand it over for inspection. What are you, a mail cop? Don't be a dope. She's obviously a female cop. Actually, I'm a computer program. Antibiotic. I guard the internet from nasty, crippling germs and diseases and make sure only legitimate mail gets through. Like religious chain letters and advertisements for performance-enhancing medications? From Canada? You got it, hon. 404. Street not found. So you look family. I don't suppose you know anyone by the name of Myra Stump. Oh, sure, sweetie pie. I have to block a ton of a fan email every day. The resemblance between you and Myra is eerie. Really? Well, it's nice of you to say, dear. The internet designed this reality, you know. It picks some of its favorite public figures to represent different functions. You know, to make you player types feel more comfortable. I'm not sure it worked. Comfortable. What's your plus one, uh, plus one armor? What exactly is the symbolism of that insignia on your armor? You mean you're not familiar with the Armorani Masterworks line? If we pretend we know what you're talking about, will you tell us what the heck you're talking about? This is plus one armor. Which yeah. means... Which means that any weapon plus one or less will be useless as a butter knife on aged cheddar. You don't even know basic weapon armor mechanics? You boys really need to get with it. Um, do you ever leave? Do you ever leave this spot? Oh, heavens no. 
who'll be here to guard the mailbox. We could guard it for you. You know, if you want to grab a sandwich or something. Not a chance, funny bunny man. So, don't you need rest? You never take a nap or anything? I don't need to sleep, hun. I stay awake at my post all hours. I don't sleep either. I just know the moment I start to snooze, the ravenous clowns that hide in the closet will come out and eat me. Max, the closet is full of the collected detritus of our former cases. There's no room for clowns in there. They're only in the closet when you sleep, Sam. Right before they leap out and disembowel you so they can use your organs to make balloon animals. Okay, you two wackos definitely need to stay back from the mailbox. Yeah, okay. See you later then. Well, I guess we'll move along now. Don't mail any wooden nickels. Free MP3 download. Plus two sword. Is that a sword up there? Maybe mm. liver and onions have gone fantasy metal. Again. Look, Max, Liver and Onions are playing online. I guess they couldn't get a real gig. Reality 2.0 is the musical form of the future. All elements of culture are being digitized for your convenience. Why is there a sword stuck up there? I don't know, but I kind of want it. Um, what happens if I try to shoot it? And gold coins. Of course. Can we use this? How can I do that when it's way up there and I'm way down here? Yeah, we can't use it. Okay. Look, Max. Some form of oversized currency just hanging in the air. Ten out of ten survey subjects agree. No known experience can match the raw exhilaration of repeatedly leaping for things floating just out of one's reach. It's science, Sam. I can agree with that. And uh, check in the box. Place for all your money laundering is love and it. Jack in the box! Let's kill it! Kill? Whoa! Pop ups! Can't we <laughs> get away from ads anywhere? We believe that you will want to hear about products available from our sponsors. Pretty solid. All promotions in Reality 2.0 are tailored to the buying habits of the individual user. Cog swallow. I heard that. Can I take it? No. I can't get near it with these impenetrable ads popping up all the time. Mm. So I probably need that. Banco Lavadero. Reality 2.0 is connected to the World Wide Web for your convenience. Please take the time to visit our sponsors. Yes, 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 yes. Control room. Can we enter? Oh, we can. Yes. Of course. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Take a chill pill, R2. It's just us. What the me hill is going on in here? I'm sorry, the selection Dialogue with Cops is currently unavailable in your area. Please check back later for updated conversation times. Excuse us. We have a reality to simulate. Okay, so we have to do something with these. So, what aspect of reality do you control, he who only bleeps? Ask a stupid question. Well, let's give this thing a push. What's the worst that could happen? It turns off the computers controlling the world's nuclear reactors and the entire planet is subsumed in a massive radioactive firestorm? Uh, let's just try it and see. Pop-ups have been disabled for your convenience. Oh, nice. Oh, well, that's good too, I guess. Okay, so can we go and get the pop-up box now? Okay, let's try this. Hmm, near as I can tell, the only purpose of this thing is to generate those annoying pop-up ads. You are correct. Because I guess we can't turn all of them. Well, well let's see. Can I turn you off? So, how you keeping busy, Mr. Sensitivity? User width control. User what's it? I am maintaining the width of your avatar. Can I turn it off? What are you doing again? User width. Okay, we can't. What are you simulating there, big guy? I am the master of gravity! Really? Ooh. I would have guessed master of jollity. You will fall! What are you doing again? I am the master of... You will fall! Can I... Um... You look lonely. Negative! I am supreme! Gravity failing! Must hold up! Whee! 
Sir Isaac Newton must be turning over in his grave. Okay. Literally. That... I, I, I feel pretty and witty and gay. Turn la, 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 la. So no, because I should have guessed that we can use the bug. Haha. Do help us. Can I get those coins now? Look, Max. It's a me, Sam. It's a me, Mario. Yes. Now we have the yeah. coins. Sell out. <laughs> Can we grab that sword? Please use caution. Injury sustained in reality 2.0 will also affect your physical being in your former reality. Oh, that's not good. That's a unicorn sword. No, no, wrong. Hmm. Please use caution. Injury sustained in reality 2.0 will also affect your physical being in your former reality. Now let's grab the sword. It's stuck. Oh. Ooh. Um. Nope, that doesn't work. Can we punch it? I've got better things to punch. Okay, we can't punch it. So, what else can we do? Our wit. I don't know where we can use that for now. Let's take the pug off. You will fall. And what do you... What's your story, Data Head? I'm maintaining your height for your convenience. If you're not satisfied with your height, please contact the customer service department. I'm not satisfied with my height. I'm sorry, the customer service department is currently closed. Please try again later. Okay, we'll have to check where we can use height and width. And also, what can we do with the pop-ups? Uh, DeSoto, can we drive it? Hey, that looks like our car! And then I say we claim it. Where are we going, Sam? Nowhere. Nowhere. Okay. Sam and Max, virtual office. Well, I guess this is what our office would look like if it didn't exist yet. What? You guys, I swear, wherever I go, there you are! Oh, don't tell me you've become a Buddhist. Say, what have you got there, Jimmy? Oh, no. Get away from me. Hand it over, mini jerkbag. No way. I stole this coin fair and square. Now, Jimmy, we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. But personally, I'm leaning towards the hard way. It's mine. Beat it. Ah. Okay. I see where we are going with this. And far. Why we what? Cyber ants. Reality 2.0 is the first and only massively multi-ant experience. Girl, you have got to go on a picnic sometime. That's all I'm saying. I want multi-ant experience. So I guess that is for... Can we use the phone? <laughs> we can, but it doesn't do anything. Who was it? Our future. Yeah, crank collars. I love those guys. Okay. So we need to control our height to get inside there and get the coin. I don't know what we're going to do with the coins, but uh, I want to collect them. For reasons. Because that's what we do. Get in. Uh, were you the height? Yes, you were the height. What are you doing? Let's bug this thing. Say hello to my little friend. Hello! I'm sorry, that is not a valid selection. Please try a <coughs> character height malfunction. OMG, Sam. Look how cute I've become. You've never been more marketable in your life, little buddy. Don't ruin this. My life! I'm in a thrilling life! Someone get that guy a lozenge. Now, right. Now, let's leave and get that bloody coin from the rat. Hopefully we can deal with him as our miniature selves. I can't get up there. I'm too small. 
Ah. Hmm. Well. Well. How do I do this then? I can't get up there. Um. I can't use anything at this size. My stuff's microscopic. Well, that's too bad. Ah. Okay, maybe we want to go to the boss coast and see if we can get something from there. We'll take the bug with us. Thank you for your... I'm maintaining your height for your convenience. Thank you. Now. So, we can't get in while we're short unless there's something we can use to get in. Uh, recycle bin, read only. That is one large recycle bin. Save the earth. Okay. Internet wizard. Well, if it isn't my recurring nightmare in the artificial flesh, the grinning disembodied head of Hugh Bliss. Hugh, I just want you to know that the way you unashamedly use your personal celebrity to thrust your spiritual beliefs on others is an inspiration to us all. I love you, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm not Hugh Bliss. I hate you. Wait, you're not? No, silly. I'm the Internet Wizard. I'm an entirely virtual being, you see? But I've thoughtfully taken the form of Hugh Bliss to help you understand my role in your new reality. I still hate you. Okay. So what you doing? What exactly is your role in our new reality? I do just what any friendly neighborhood wizard would do. All of my neighborhood wizards have been evil, so I'm not really sure what that would be. Well, I can answer your questions with cryptic clues, pass out the odd magical item, prophesy, <laughs> the huge. So cryptic clues. Oh, supposedly wise wizard, we have a question for you. Hooray! Please select your question. If you don't see it, simply type it in. You can understand what we type? No, of course not. <laughs> but typing is fun and a proven stress reliever. I think I'm about to relieve some stress all over this guy's skull. Okay, so what are you trying? What are we trying to do? How do we win? Uh, what? Win the game. You know, beat it. Oh, no, no. In reality 2.0, everybody wins. Except the monsters. They die! Killing monsters is right up our online alley. How do we do that? Some are easy. Some are hard. But be careful. If you get hurt in reality 2.0, your original body may feel the blow. <laughs> Owie. Yeah, we already get that. Uh, can you see our future? Can you see our future? Why, yes. Yes, I can. I see... Nothing! Now, see, I would have phrased that as, No, no, I cannot see your future. No, I mean I see blackness. Blackness all around. It's terrible. Ooh. How needlessly enigmatic. Thank you. Come again! We sure will do that, but how about a magic trick? Why don't you show us something magical? I'll do better than that. I'll give you something magical. It's not more magic beans, is it? My mom will kill me if I come home with more of those. No, it's your very own rainbow! A rainbow of lead-based color for your car. Uh, you're giving us paint? Uh, 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 not paint. A rainbow customization kit. Oh, well. That's a whole other story. Is that microtransaction? Just use it with your car to express your inner being with all the colors of the rainbow. Some colors not available where prohibited. So, okay, see you later. I'm all out of questions. But I'm not out of answers. Who cares? <laughs> I'll have to agree with Max then. Save point. Right. Your progress has been saved. Thank Try you. doing that in the so-called real world. Hey, wait! Gumball machine? I guess this is what video game characters eat when they need to rot their teeth out. Hey, where are the big honking ones that let you eat ghosts? 
Reality 2.0 caters to all manner of life forms, including dead life forms. The eating of ghosts has been disallowed to cater to our spectral clientele. Apparitions welcome. AIs are always so PC. Right, okay. Let's go in and see what we can see. Cloak of Visibility, Elven Boots of Sloth, Wooden Longsword, Half Elf Discounted, Hot Rump, Coin Back. I guess that's what passes for a cash register in these parts. Half Elf Items, Half Off. Sounds a good deal then. Hot Rump. Wow, that rump is hot. Okay. Spawn point, meat it is to die for. Brine shrimp online, boring weapon, brine chat, adults only. Starch, what you're looking for. Try donut recycling. Right, monstero matic. Anyways, what, are, what can we do with you then, Bosco? Bosco? Is that really you? I should ask thee the same question. Go ahead. What? Ask us the same question. Okay. Is that really you? Yes. Why do you ask? Guys, it's me, Bosco. I just got my new Reality 2.0 goggles, and with them, I have started the internet revolution for the Shire. So hypnotic. Bosco, don't look now, but I think your Reality 2.0 goggles may have hypnotized you. Please. Half-elf rangers of my level are impervious to every form of hypnosis enchantment. Ooh, this reminds me of those internet quizzes where you look at a bunch of shifty strangers and have to decide serial killer or United States Senator. Except we're asking hypnotized or not hypnotized. Listen, guys, I'm perfectly happy in Reality 2.0. I never want to leave, ever. Yep, hypnotized. Now where's my free laptop? So take off the... Those goggles? It doesn't work like that, but Bosco, let's try. you've got to take off those goggles, man. I never want to leave. Ever. Okay. So how's reality 2.0 treating you, Bosco? Oh, it's great. I'm never leaving this place. Did you know in reality 2.0, shelf space is infinite. Uh, don't you have the exact same amount of shelf space that you had in the original reality? Huh. Well, I'll tell you one thing. My money's a lot safer here than in that other reality. So... What makes your money so safe on the internet? I got it all in one of those offshore banks. You know, real foreign. All digital. Safer that way. Does this bank have a name? Well, uh, don't go posting it on the street or nothing. But it's called... BancoLavadero.com Banco Lavadero? Isn't that Spanish for baby got back? <laughs> no. I don't know what it means. I just know it's safe. Of course it is safe. Of course it is. Uh, how do you, how do we play, pay you online? If we wanted to pay real life money to your bank account, how would we do it? Oh, it's easy. All you gotta do is drive down the information superhighway to BancoLavadero.com and transfer the money. That is easy. Oh, and you also have to know my top secret account password, which I would never tell anybody for any reason whatsoever. Right, so what's your password? Bosco, we want to transfer a huge sum of money to your bank account. Just tell us the password. Yeah, funny thing. The deposed king of Nigeria was just in here saying the exact same thing. Yeah, but we're serious, and we have guns. Give us the password. No, in fact, I had it wiped from my memory so they can't even torture it out of me. Then how do you remember it when you need it? Well, just between you and me, I went down the street and had the password tattooed on a certain part of my body. Somewhere no one will ever look. Right. Can we see the tattoo? This may well go down as the most ill-advised question I've ever asked, but may we see your private tattoo? No. Besides, I didn't tattoo it on my virtual avatar. It's on my real body, dummy. All right, fine. We'll just go check out your so-called real body. I'm not showing it to you there, either. Uh, we want to buy something? We want to buy some of your virtual goods. What have you got? My wares were designed for the fashionable half-elf. Not the brutish half-monster. 
Gee, no one's ever called me brutish before. I, I, I don't know what to say. And yet, I do have one weapon of such devious simplicity that even an incompetent swordsman such as yourself could wield it. The Platinum Sword of Berserker Testiness? The Enchanted Crossbow of Massive Decapitation? Ooh, the nice. Pushpin of Eternal Punishment? Nay, the Wooden Longsword of Intensa uh, Evolveness. Uh... Oh. Really? Wooden Longsword of Intense Longness? Not to put too fine a point on it, but that can't be selling for very much on eBay. Certainly, there are greater weapons to be had, but none of such intense, uh, longness. Fine, let's cut to the chase. How much are we talking here? Five gold coins. Five gold coins? Are you insane? We're never gonna find that kind of money! Wait, five gold coins? That's it? Tis a bargain. Tis! Um, well, we don't See have you later, it. Bosco. For the Shire! Really don't have it yet. We only have three. I know where one is. What happens if I do this? Are we inside Bosco's? Yes, we are. Can we? Uh oh, Bosco's in the grips of those Reality 2.0 goggles. We better save him, Sam. It's so depressing in here without his omnipresent paranoia to lift my spirits. So I don't think I uh -oh. kind of Bosco's. No. We better save. So we definitely. I just realized one thing. Um, yeah, I just realized something. Can we get in the VR like so? We can, yes. Now I have most likely a solution. How can we get to the coin? On the rat hole, in the rat hole. Where are we going, Sam? No, 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 no. We are not no going there just okay. yet. Because I want to test this. And probably after that, I will end the episode. Uh, but we will see. So. Whee! Now, plant the bug. Character height. Yes, thank you. We don't need to hear that again. Leave. Exit. And um, let's go back to our office. I hope this works. I'm almost certain it should work. We will see. Won't we? Oh, yes. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, hey, guys. Wait a second. How'd you, uh... I thought I told you to beat it. Well, if you insist. <laughs> Thanks for the coin, Jimmy. See you around. Jimmy's good people. Good people. Indeed he is. So we can leave from the VR. So, next episode we are going to Banco Lavadero. And we need to get one more coin. And we'll have to work through that. I don't know how we get the plus two sword and what we are going to do with the pop-ups but we will see anyways i hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you next time until then goodbye